Alright, welcome back to Ricketts Reef. This is just a uh, quick update to explain uh, uh, my absence and kind of what's going to be happening with the tank. What's been happening is I'm super busy. Real life is just kind of kind of bogging me down a bit, so I haven't had much time to do updates or to even work on the tank. But I have some time coming in the very near future, and I've got some pretty exciting stuff planned for it. I don't want to give away the surprise just yet, but look forward to a whole new series on something for the aquarium. Um, hopefully it'll be exciting and useful for everybody watching. Uh, that being said, I've had a few challenges. One with my octopus pump, it just stopped working. I just needed to turn it a little bit and it kept on going. Um, don't know if that's going to be a common occurrence. I've heard it happens to some pumps, but because this one is new, I'm not too sure if it's going to happen a lot. Uh, another little challenge I had is I wore out my turkey baster. That's right, you know you're a reefer when you wear out your turkey baster. Uh, it just, I don't know, overuse over time. It just kind of, little little part on the back that you squeeze, the little rubber part, kind of just disintegrated, wore through. So I got myself a new one at the dollar store. All in all, the tank is, is doing quite well. Uh, some corals growing better than others, of course. As always, uh, this this I love this new tricolor right in the front here. Just it's pretty rad. Another thing I'd like to give an update on is the uh, the vortex or the vortex. It is just great. Um, I had one problem. It the little little front part here fell off and and actually landed on this this Duncan down here. Uh, it didn't do any damage or anything like that, obviously, because it stops turning once it lets go of the magnet part. But the, the reason why that happened is because, if you see, I've got it kind of coming through the wall there. Uh, so there's a little tension from the cord in the back of the drywall. If I had it coming forward, there would be no problem. So I tried to loosen the tension a bit, and it seems to have solved the problem. Um, the Vortec, I've, I've gone through the manual, and it's just really simple to use. I've got it set on a uh, nutrient export slash random mode. Uh, you can kind of mix certain modes together on some settings. Here is the, I don't know if you'll be able to see this kind of dark down there. There's the driver right there. It's got night mode, which I've programmed in. It took me, I don't know, 20 seconds after reading the instructions to do that. It's really easy to use. The only thing I, I I like different about the driver if there was like a, a, a readout that actually told me what mode I was in. It's kind of uh, finicky having to look back at the screen PDF to find out what mode I'm in. Um, so if you're going to get one and play with it, I suggest if you have a printer, <laughs> that'd be nice too. Just print out the instructions on how to do all the different options and then you can easily look at them instead of having to walk back and forth from a computer. But it is just a great tool. I uh, I can honestly say that it's made the tank a lot healthier. I've got a lot less dead spots. I don't have that, that red hair or algae stuff growing on the sand bed because I don't have any detritus spots anymore. Um, maybe one or two, but it just the pump has such a good undertow sucking up here which means this spot's not dead and blowing over here which means this spot's not dead so it's great uh, the tank's a lot healthier I don't worry about vacuuming the sand bed as much I still do every couple of weeks just to make sure so yeah corals have uh, you can they're, they're a lot healthier you can see I guess just with the flow also with the uh, the low flow corals because instead of getting hammered by the constant flow of those old power heads they get a break and it's it's really nice with the random flow and they seem to like it and they're responding great uh, if you can see this candy cane it's actually responding too great it's it's grown more since I've gotten the Vortec and I kinda don't like it. it's too big <laughs> it's not a it's not a bad problem to have but now I can't see the frog spawn um, getting some good growth on my SPS all around as you can see starting to think I need more frags 
I'll probably do a little bit of rearranging. Got a red, a red Monty right there, and it the flesh kind of seems bleached a little, but the polyps are still red, so that's kind of cool. Hey, fish! And there's cola, the coal tang, also known as the bane of my existence. I hate that stinking fish. It's constantly nipping at everything. I don't know. Maybe one day I'll I'll get rid of them, but. Doesn't seem to be doing much damage, it just irritates everyone, even me. Now that Millie in the back, it's kind of an ugly frag, but it's uh, it's growing really well and it's really pretty. I've left all the lights on for this update, so I don't know if it's going to come out more blue. I would assume it will. We'll, we'll kind of see. Anyway, overall the tank is doing well. Uh, I've had some questions about the shrimp yet. The shrimp is still around. I saw his exoskeleton hanging around a, a day ago. I went to grab it and it blew away. But yeah, he's, he usually hides back there somewhere. Right back there where the uh, Royal Grandma hides. That's kind of their, their chill spot. Antheus are doing good. Uh, as you can see, <laughs> as you see their custard has no time for cola still and he will still slice his stuff up if he comes too close. And I gotta blame Cola for that, because Cola will try and nip his tail all the time. He's just, he's a pest. He's a, he's a bugger. He likes to bug things. Anyway, as I said, I'll probably be kind of running low on the updates. And I'm sorry, I'm definitely running low on the uh, question answering time, because real life has just gotten mad lately. Stay tuned for a pretty pretty intense series coming up on something for the fish tank. I'm pretty excited to do it and I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, it'll be, uh, <laughs> if it works out well, it'll, it'll help a lot of people out. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for staying tuned. Talk to you soon. Later.